it's really crazy because I was previewing this game earlier today. I was talking to some friends and I said, listen, I said, listen, these DBs better get ready for North Carolina. If there's one position that's going to be tested this weekend, it's the cornerback position. DJ Ivy, Al Blaze to Corey Couch. You're going up against some good receivers. Yami Brown, who disrespected us last year, doing double moves on Bandy, doing a little flea flicker play, throwing it back to the quarterback. He was doing it all. And then Newsom, one of the best wide receivers um, in the ACC, the corners are going to get tested. What's sad is at the point of having that conversation, I didn't know what I know now, which is uh, just been announced that Al Blaze not only missed the North Carolina game, he'll miss the rest of the season. He's going to try to make a comeback next year. This is what he said to the public via Twitter. As of last night, I was going through COVID protocols when doctors had some concerns about my blood work. After undergoing an MRI on my heart, I have been diagnosed with myocarditis. This will cause me to be out for a minimum of three months. It hurts not to be out there with my brothers. That will always be a hurricane. I'm looking forward to returning to the field 2021. Now, Al Blaze said that via Twitter, and there's a lot of different takeaways from this, a lot of different ways we can look at this in talking points, right? And the first takeaway that I really want to look at is I hope Al Blaze, I hope he's okay, and I hope he's able to play football again. Instantly, when you see a situation like this happen as a Miami Hurricane fan, what do y'all think about? Leek Young, Ahmad Richard, two talented players who – we didn't get to see the very best of them because their career was ended short because of medical situation. Al Blaze, I really hope and pray that he's not on that list. I hope he gets back to being healthy. Hope he can stay in shape while he's off these three months. He's back on the team playing, right? So that's the first thing. You want to wish the player recovery. Secondly is, what does this do for the upcoming game? Well, Al Blaze did miss this last game. Isaiah Dunson came in. And, and people, you know, Isaiah, um, Al Blaze did lose his spot to, to Corey Couch. But you got to realize uh, Al Blaze, he wasn't terrible. But Corey Couch was just playing at a better level. But Al Blaze uh, leading us in interception, made several plays here and there. But he was out of position on a lot of plays. But he's still somebody who's been in the system, knows the system, you're going to want to lean on when you're going up against a team like UNC. But he's not going to be there. He wasn't here for Duke. Who played for in his spot? It was Isaiah Dunson. Played the most snaps he's ever played. And he played well, but we got to realize it was Duke. Duke wasn't going to stretch the field on us. No way, no how. And this week, Isaiah Dunson to Corey Couch. You guys will be tested. And losing Al Blaze, it does hurt us. Not just that, but the depth as well. So you're looking at taking somebody who played a lot of stats out of your defense. It's going to make an impact. Now the question is, can Isaiah Dunson, can a Marcus Clark, can they fill that role and either exceed expectations to where we're like, hey, that is our corner of the future, or... Will it be just a, a okay performance to where it doesn't hurt the team as much and they win, or will they be a liability? I don't know. We'll have to see. I will say this. Isaiah Dunson, he didn't look shell-shocked under the lights versus Duke. Yes, I know Duke isn't going to stretch the field like I said they wouldn't, like I just said they wouldn't. But I will say he looked comfortable out there, and we'll, we'll just have to see what happens. The one thing about a secondary is, this D-line is so good at getting at the quarterback, maybe they can help the out because they will be tested. So that's definitely a takeaway. The next thing is it goes back to the cornerback recruiting. Now, I want to say rump particularly, but people dive into the comments. The Mike Rump Avengers, they dive into the comments, right? And they say, well, he doesn't even recruit corners. And then I say, well, what does he do on this staff? Nobody has an answer for him. I say, what ha well, who does he recruit? Nobody has an answer for him. So I'm just going to say, whoever has been recruiting the cornerbacks, they have not been successful at. 
And now we're in a position to where this hurts us big time. Right? Because we only have a couple corners left to play. And when I came out, when Christian Williams transferred, I said, this is a big deal. People said, you're overreacting. NMD TV, you just want some views. You're overreacting. I'm saying, no, 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 my people. With the C-19 situation, depth is the most important player in what's going on in college football right now. You have depth. You have a better chance of winning most of your games. Now, with Christian Williams gone, with the lack of cornerback recruiting, with the inability of getting players to stay at Miami instead of going to the NFL, which that's not ultimately players going to do what a player's got to do for them and for the family. We're sitting in a situation where we got to hope, we got to pray that another corner doesn't get into some C-19 situation, doesn't get into some contact tracing situation, doesn't get hurt playing the football situation. Because whoever we play these next two games, they're going to be better than Duke. Right, we're gonna play UNC. I doubt we play Georgia Tech. Then we're gonna play New Year's New Year's Six bowl game, hopefully against the Gators. If we're playing the Gators, we we really would like to have an out. So now we don't have our blade. We gotta hope that we don't lose another corner, and we're definitely we'll have to be throwing out receivers or safeties at corners. Who knows? This type of situation has. I wish we had a Avante Williams. I wish Christian Williams wouldn't have transferred. Who knows? What, what is he going to do? Who knows? But this is why recruiting a lot of, this, oh, for example, people say, why do we need Jay Garcia when we have Tyler Van Dyke? Because you never know. You never stop recruiting, especially at the quarterback position. You don't want to stop recruiting when it comes to Jay Garcia. When you look at how our roster lays out, you definitely don't want to stop recruiting at the cornerback. So for those who don't know, Al Blades is out the rest of the year. I'm going to try to make a comeback uh, for next season. Really, I don't know much about the disease um, or about the medical situation. I don't want to call it a disease. I don't know about the medical situation. All I can say is I hope he gets better. I hope he returns back to full health. I would hate to see another promising player um, in his career short before he got the max out his hate to see this weekend corners DJ Ivy so Cody Couch Isaiah Dunson Marcus Clark hey man y'all gotta come to play y'all gotta come to play because those North Carolina receivers the ball's in the air they think it's theirs they will go and get it we'll go and get it so hey corners this week, see what y'all got. Al Blaze, we wish you the best. I'm out. Peace.